Hello, and welcome to Teacher Notes instructional video. What's new? We've recently released a few videos that sort of take a new Teacher Notes user and quickly get them up to date with how to use Teacher Notes to the best of its ability. But a lot of you are pretty experienced Teacher Notes users already. So, what we have this video for is just to hopefully quickly show you what's new. Uh, so, what's new first off is that we used to have a cogwheel in the top right that had some options. Actually, move those over to this button here in the top left that has three dashes in it. When you tap it, a menu is exposed. Uh, this has a lot of the options that used to be under the cogwheel. A couple of new options might be copy student, so you can copy a student from one class to another. Uh, we have this auto backup feature in Dropbox. So, this is really great if you have a lot of teachers who all want to be in sync, if you all link up to the same Dropbox account. And that's important. You have to be linked up to the same Dropbox account. But if you're all linked up to the same one, you can turn on auto backup. And then every time you exit teacher notes, it's going to auto backup all your classes to the cloud and then re-download any changes that anyone else have made. Hopefully, this will make it so that all the teachers who are linked up to that account can always be in sync with each other. Uh, down here we have export.csv. This lets you export a class into a .csv file, which is used to manipulate students in Excel or Numbers sort of has all the data in columns. It makes it really easy for you to play around with as the teacher. If that's something you like. If that's not something you like, you don't have to use it. But someone wrote in and requested it, and we were much obliged. That's really how we add a lot of features in Teacher Notes, just to let you know. This is a plug. You can always hit Contact Us down here and request a feature, and we'll do our best to get it in. Also, you can contact us if you find out something that's a little bit off. And again, we'll do our best to add it in. Okay? Best to fix it, I guess. Sorry. So let's look at a couple other new features. Uh, let's go to kindergarten here. And let's take a quick look here, OK? Well, not much has really changed here, but I just want to show you one quick thing that you might not know about. Say these aren't students. Say they're children or something else, or maybe you don't want this to be domains. You can just tap here, change it to, uh, we'll change this to children, Oops. and then hit return. And now, what used to say students is now going to say children everywhere. So you can kind of just customize your class to whatever you really want it to be. Okay? That's kind of a new feature. Um, another new feature is the assignment feature. So, you know, you've been able to take notes on someone for quite some time. But say you want to, you know, start keeping track of assignments. Who's done well? Who's handed them in? Well, you can do that now with the assignment feature. If I could only spell, right? So usually you'd file a note by tapping this folder over here or swiping up. But now you can also file an assignment. What you do is you tap this icon just to the left of the folder. It's got a couple people in it. It's kind of like, oh, we're going to give them all an assignment. Uh, and we can sort of just file people in here if you want. So Aaron, Jackson, Mindy, they all did very good on their English assignment. And some people did average, maybe Ian and Nikki. And unfortunately, a couple people failed, Adam. And, you know, these four people haven't handed in their assignments yet. So we can also, remember, we can always file it just like we did before, language, content area, we'll call it literacy. We file it. When we go into our notes, you can see this note has a check mark beside it. And if we want to edit it, double tap it, and tap this button down here. Teacher Notes is automatically going to know that this is an assignment note and not a regular note. And you'll be able to update the assignments. You can change them from maybe failing. Maybe Adam decided to redo some of his work. You can take them out of there. You can put them in average. Okay? You can also take these people who haven't had in their assignment, put them in one of these, um, one of these marking criteria. Hit File. All your changes are saved. And when you go to sort your notes, all assignments are filed under the child name assignment, or whatever you decide to call this. Student, whatever. Okay, uh, one last note. We'll just take a look. You know, I use teacher notes sometimes to take pictures of nature. Uh, so let's go to our note viewing page. Now I just want to bring something to your attention. For all of you who've been using it for quite a while, we've sort of been trying to implement these um, icons here to let you know if there's a picture or if there's a, a movie or some audio. So, you know, we used to have to 
highlight a note, a piece of a note, and then you could pick, click the or tap the picture, the movie or the audio here on the bottom screen. But we've now changed that so that you actually, we took those buttons out and you just tap the video or tap the picture here and it opens up. So, you know, you want to see an ant wandering on a tree trunk? Tap this little camera. There's the ant wandering on a tree trunk. You want to make it bigger? Give it a tap. There it is. You can always zoom in, zoom out. Tap done when you're done. Okay. Same goes for video. There it is. You can make it bigger. You know? Tap it one time. You can say done. Uh, and finally, you can do some audio. Birds really added today. Also, when you want to edit a note, it's pretty easy. You can still do highlight uh, text from inside a note. Then you tap this new sort of looking button here, and this lets you edit things. So you have a nice little box. You can edit however you want, the performance hall. You can add, you know, new criteria to everything you filed. You can still edit your note or edit your picture, edit your movie. You can delete your notes, and you can always change the date just like before. Just wanted to show that to you. So that's pretty much all that's new here, okay? Uh, so keep on taking notes everyone, okay?